Well, this is the first video in a tutorial SAS video series. Create a playlist if you want to out. The first thing you'll have to do is open open the SAS program. And you'll notice I'm running SAS 9.3 on Windows 7. When you first open it, you're going to get this dialog box that uh, references the output. And the output is so going to look slightly different depending on what your settings are. The settings I'm using, if you go to Tools, Options, Preferences, and click the results tab I think the default is normally HTML and HTML is just like a HTML on a, a internet browser and you have a couple of windows to look at the top window is the log window when you actually run a program things are going to show up in there any error messages or or notes about anything will show up here the editor window is where you're going to do most of your typing and then behind that you'll notice these three tabs down here behind those two windows is the output window the output window is where your results are going to go when you have a proc print statement or some some other uh, type of statement that has output over here on your right you have uh, libraries these are a pseudo name for the location where your your data files are going to be stored the work library is a temporary library when you when you create something and you don't give it a specific place to go it goes to the work pal work library and when you close the program it's gone but in the SAS environment you're going to refer to it based on what label you gave it for the library and then the results window window is where you're going to be able to go back through if you've ran two or three different programs to go back through and find the results and it's just listed out in a cascading sort of like when you're looking for a file on the computer if we go to the editor window sometimes you might want to click maximize and that'll have the editor take up the whole window I'm gonna open up a program now let's start with a very simple program data is a, a keyword in you type data when you're going to start a data step. And you got to give your data set a name. And I'm just going to put input the information. So input is another keyword. And I need some variables. I'm going to use name and age. Data lines is another keyword. And you put data lines when you're about to manually input your data set. Now here in yellow, are the information I'm inputting so the variable would be name and the first observation you have John as the name the second observation you have Sue as name and third observation you have Jake as the name now for character variables you're gonna have to put a dollar sign to let the computer know that it's going to be a character for the age variable I don't really have to put anything and the computer's gonna be able to put that in it's 32 and then 24 and then 38 and this is a data step I'm gonna click this run command up here. Then it's put the input the information into a data step. And I click it on my log window and I want to check to make sure there's no problems. And this is a uh, common note you'll have. Three observations were read and there were two variables in the time it took. So I didn't have any problems. If I go to my explore window, click on work, then I'll see that a data set was created in that data set. I double click it. I can see it right here, which is hard to see. but that's basically the data step. Another step you could have is a proc step. You can see a lot of stuff is proc, and one uh, proc step is proc print. Now, because I don't really have anything else here, I could just have proc print and it's gonna print out that data set. But I wanna be specific because once I have more complicated programs, there might be more going on and I don't want to uh, print the wrong thing, so I can do data equals records, and it will know to print just that record. Now, if I highlight this, then I click run, it's just gonna run those last two lines that I made. Now this is a, a little better way of looking at it. Uh, when I ran this, first I checked my log and there were no problems here. And my results come up in the output window. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do to format this uh, type of screen. Um, taking out the observation number if you don't like it or taking out the date or making it bigger. So that's pretty much the introduction of the SAS environment. Be sure to, to comment if you have any questions or anything you want to let me know. And search through and find the playlist I'm creating. 
to find more videos, get more tools with your looking for.